Hello and good morning and welcome back. Uh, several greetings today. I am Ronald, this is Ronald's Modern Life, and my eye is usually not bloody. Uh, if you watched <laughs> the video uh, from yesterday, uh, you would know that I popped a blood vessel in my eye, probably on the plane, uh, coming to Florida, and it seems to be getting worse. Before, it was only kind of in the corner of my eye, and if I moved my eye to the right, then you would see it more. Now, it I'm sure my whole eye will be bloody before I leave Florida. Either way, today is Velocicoaster Day. I just saw a tweet that said the line wasn't too bad. The line looked bad to me. It looked like it went all the way through City Walk, even into the garden path for the hotel. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I have absolutely no plan for today. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be an opening ceremony, but all I really want to do is ride the ride, maybe twice, but I'll settle for just once. Today I am wearing my Life Finds A Way shirt with a little Osprey, Osprey, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's a bird that literally made a nest uh, in on the top of the Velocicoaster top hat and it was a, a struggle. Pretty much every day they had to remove that nest. Uh, it's a little inside joke uh, to those of us who are aware of the joke. So I'm wearing that shirt today. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start the day. And again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you do like this type of content. And let's go and enjoy our day. give you a quick update on how that all went. So the shuttle bus pretty much came in about maybe five minutes, nah, maybe even less, maybe three. Um, I didn't really time that fully. It took uh, about eight minutes to get from Sapphire Falls to City Walk and then through City Walk into security took uh, 13 minutes. So that's, uh, they're, sending us, they're sending us this way. They're sending us behind Big Fire. It's 8.39 as well, so uh, the park opens officially in 20 minutes. Although I already heard that uh, they saw the people in in about 8. Oh, looks like they're sending us all the way this way. Alright, let's see how long this goes. Alright, so we turned this way, pretty much by Blue Man Group, and now we're heading back to Islands. Truth be told, that really wasn't bad at all. Uh, it's been a consistent walk. It wasn't like we waited and, you know, stopped for any moment. We just pretty much just walked straight, so not too bad at all. Alright, walking through Port of Entry, they just announced that the Velocicoaster is a three hour wait, but you know your boy is waiting on it. This is what I'm here for, this is why I made the trip. So let's go ahead and wait some three hours for it. Who cares? Walking through Marvel, heading towards Moon Lagoon. The rest of the park seems pretty dead, which I think is to be expected. I think anybody who's here is probably just here for the Velocicoaster. So the Velocicoaster line just now started pretty much by Dudley. We are already in Jurassic Park and it's only 9.09, .09. so about 10 minutes, maybe less. Uh, the time was posted when I entered the line as a 180 minute wait. We'll see. So luckily the majority of Jurassic Park is covered by trees, so it provides shade. This part of the queue is going to absolutely suck. It is 9.30 and I'm right over here by the ride, pretty much. And so I think this is the Forbidden Journey extended queue. And we're going through here, although we're moving pretty quick. And just like that, we are out of the Forbidden Journey extended queue. Back out to Jurassic Park. 
Just wanted to say uh, a quick uh, thank you to all the Universal team members in the Velocicoaster queue. They're doing a great job. And it is 9.50, so about 55 minutes or so in line, and I am in front of the Velocicoaster main entrance. I just saw from the app that the wait is now a 240 minute wait for the Velocicoaster and I'm in front of the ride. It took me about, took me about 50 minutes, uh, but here we are. Also back there, they were filming the Today Show. The single rider uh, queue is open. Uh, I'm not going to go there though, even though it is a shorter wait because I want to experience the actual queue. So I'm going to wait in line with everybody else. And next time I'll do the single rider. Oh dear. So we just went inside and now we're actually back outside. In now we're back outside in a very long looking extended queue. Uh, they do have some umbrellas set up, but not too, too many. This might be the hardest part of the queue to get through. See these raptors in thrilling close proximity. Putting you guys in a locker. See you later. Just came off the ride. They gave us a free churro, which I already ate. That was incredible. So it is super fast, super smooth. There is no over the shoulder restraints. It's just a lap bar, pretty much. And you get so much air time on that ride. And you don't have to worry about banging your head. Sometimes the Hulk gives me a headache. It beats me up sometimes because I'm banging my head so much. This, you don't have to worry about that. Super smooth super fun the roll over the water scared the hell out of me that was the scariest part of the ride the top hat not even all that much the roll over the water it is the perfect finale of the ride they call that the mosasaur roll uh i think i'm saying that right mosasaur whatever it's that big you know dinosaur in the water right anyway right now it looks like there's like no weight at all i'm gonna show you and I'm gonna do single rider because the person who was sitting next to me on the ride said he waited like 25 minutes. So I'm gonna run to the bathroom and then I'm gonna get myself back on the Vasa Costa again. As I was saying before, this was all a line and now it's just wide open. All right, just did Velasa Coaster again in a single rider line. I got the back row this time. That was a whole different experience. So the first time I got the sixth row, this time I got the last row and it was absolutely crazy because the airtime is nuts. You get whipped around that top hat. Everything was just way more airtime. Crazy, crazy. Okay, change of plans. The uh, Velocicoaster um, single rider queue was closed and it was a 75 minute wait. I don't think I want to wait 75 minutes just to go on the same ride I just did twice. I'm actually going to head over to Hagrid's. So Hagrid's, Hagrid's is supposedly a 70, 75 minute wait. All right, Hagrid's is all done. Always a fun trip. Yeah, it's 1.30 right now. So let's try Velocicoaster, see what that looks like. Oh my God, okay. So did Velocicoaster again. This time I got the front row. So, I had the full experience today. I got the middle, I got the back, and I got the front. <laughs> Crazy. 
absolutely crazy. And I kept my hands up the entire time. Absolutely crazy. If you maybe choose between going on this or going on Hulk, I'm taking this easily. So now it is 2.30. I'm actually gonna head out of the park and just take a little bit of a break, probably until four, and then head back here at four so I could do every single attraction that I wanna do with my express pass. Later. Please disregard my gross appearance. <laughs> I got the bloody eye. I'm all sweaty. I got marks on my nose from the sunglasses. It's just a bit of a mess. When I was leaving the park, I was getting a little bit hungry. So I, I did a mobile order for the Captain America diner. So I'm walking to, to, to the diner and I just see the line is just probably me knowing how mobile orders work, probably a good 30 minutes to 45 minutes for the food. I said, no, nope, that's not happening. So I canceled the order and then I was going to settle for a hot dog. They have a hot dog cart in front of like, I think Spider-Man or somewhere in that area. Line there, crazy. I said, all right, not going to do that. Then all I'm trying to do is fill up my freestyle cup and the line for the vending machines, crazy. Usually the freestyle machines, they're usually empty. You wait, you know, maybe one, two people, get your drink, boom, it's super convenient. This trip, not a convenience. I will be back here in August again though. Uh, and middle of August, I'm going to be back. So we'll see how this trip compares to the next one. 514 and I'm heading back to the parks for lunch I had an Uncrustables and it's exactly 530 and I am going to be walking into the gates of studios the boat for Sapphire was actually pretty good this time around so mummy was a walk-on with Express let's go ahead and head over to Gringotts then we'll do men in black you might skip ET Never mind, scratch that. Uh, Gringotts went down. So I'm not gonna waste my time going on Gringotts when I went on it yesterday. Did Men in Black twice. It is now, I think it's like 6.30. Yep, 6.36. Also, let me, let me tell you a quick story too about the woman just now at the Coke freestyle machine. She held up the line for about 10 minutes trying to get ice. And she just kept on pushing the ice, you know, lever over and over and over again. Nothing was working. And she's just sitting there and she's trying it, trying it, trying it. I was this close to yelling at her and saying, there's no ice in there. So either move on or, you know, figure it out. But yeah, she sat there for a very long time, just pushing the lever, pushing the lever. Nothing was happening. And it seemed she was bewildered by this. How could there be no ice? You know, because ice doesn't run out. Your bravery saved the planet. Well done, freedom fighters. Okay, heading over to Spider-Man now. I will say, uh, this is my first time back uh, since they kind of, you know, loosened the COVID restrictions. And I will say, I do miss the British woman saying, here at Universal Orlando Resort, that siren is because one of the Transformers is having a meet and greet. Oh, remember when that little shortcut through the backstage was open to get to Islands of Adventure? Good times. Just got off Spider-Man. Everybody in my car was having a great time. It seemed like it was their first time on the ride. And they were having a great time until the end when it glitched out. Uh, which is not uncommon, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and head on Doctor Doom right now because it's the new safety message. I don't like this one. Um, anyway, so I'm um, gonna go on Doctor Doom. I do it once a trip, so might as well. So I checked the app, and the app is saying that. Hagrid's is 75 and Velocicoaster is 90. Now, Hagrid's doesn't have a single rider line. Velocicoaster does. All right, so the single rider line was actually at capacity, but they were letting people in. I asked a team member how long it was gonna be. She said a while. So I can't chance it because I have an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do Forbidden Journey. Then, I'll head out to my reservation. 
Forbidden Journey is always pretty fun. So right now, going to head out of the park. Uh, it's 8.11, so my day has come to an end. Made it inside Cowfish uh, at 8.53. Uh, so now we eat. I should have showed you guys when the food came, but I'm hungry, so I already ate half of it. So this is the cowfish has left the building. It is a burger with peanut butter and bananas and applewood smoked bacon. Uh, I had it before. It was all right. Uh, this time does seem better, so that's good at least. I will say though the service still leave something to be desired. And just like that, magically, we are back in the hotel room. So let me give some updates. One, uh, the cowfish review. So the food was good. Um, I really have nothing negative to say about the food. Also because I was, well, I didn't think I was starving, but I guess I really was because I usually never really finish my food, ever, and I finished it. There were a few fries that I left, right, but everything else was, I finished. So while the food at Cowfish was good, the service, maybe not so much. When I sat down, the waiter didn't even come to me uh somebody else came so it wasn't even the waiter that was assigned to my table uh, another woman came up to me and she asked if anybody had come to me yet i said no so she said oh you know she's sorry uh you know the guy who was actually my waiter he was i don't know busy <laughs> so there was like a 13 party group right there that he had to take care of. They were loud, they were annoying, but either way, um, so I'm sure that that kind of took away some of his capacity, right, to, to help. But still, like, that's part of your job, right? So he didn't even come up to me. The food came, it was delivered by my actual waiter. It was a little bit slow to come, if I'm being honest. Uh, took 15 or so minutes. It, it seemed like it, it took a while. You guys have eaten at a restaurant before. Usually they come by and they ask you, hey, how is everything? Didn't do that. Didn't get that at all. I ate, uh, he saw that I was finished. He asked me if I was a pass holder. I said, yeah, I gave him my annual pass. Don't know why he took it before. So usually when they give you the check, you just give them your annual pass and your credit card and they just take care of, of the discount and then they charge you I don't know why he took my annual pass before he gave me the check, but either way, he took my annual pass, applied the discount. Pretty much my only interaction with the waiter, period, was just when he was giving me the food and at the end with the check. The boat coming back to the hotel actually was not that bad. So let me give credit where credit is due. I've been complaining about the boat for the past two days. It was not th wasn't that bad. All right, so again, thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to make it uh, something that would be worthwhile for you guys to watch, but you know, I can only get better, right? Again, thank you for your support. If you'd want to support me, please go ahead and like and subscribe the video for more videos like this, especially whenever I come to Universal. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Friday. I'm only here until Sunday. So the trip like that is already halfway done. All right, have a good night. Goodbye.